Hey folks, this is Perry again. I'll show you what I've been working on in the shop tonight. Uh, what I have here is a small air piston or air cylinder that I made uh, to actuate the unloader that's on my air compressor. And uh, the reason I made this is that my compressor does not have a centrifugal unloader like, say, Ingersoll Rand, Develbus, or Champion. And what it does have is it has a continuous uh, recirculating. Uh, unloader. So basically once it reaches 125 PSI a valve pops open and it starts recirculating and bypassing uh, through the valves and the cylinders which great really, greatly reduces the amount of load and it stops pumping air. So what I did is I made this coaxial air cylinder that's going to screw on the end of the, uh, the, the threaded shaft that sticks out of the unloader. I'll show you that uh, in a, the next video. And so this is just a, these are both made out of 303 stainless and uh, this is, like I said, it's coaxial which means that the piston has a through hole. So there's two o-rings, one to seal against the actual uh, rod and then another for the piston seal. And then there's a stop that's a, it's got a spiral lock snap ring that goes into a groove that uh, you can see in this uh, blow up there and is denoted by that shadow line. So basically what this is going to do is I'm going to install a regulator that gives about 30 or 40 psi of air pressure to this solenoid. Now this solenoid is going to be connected to my VFD on the output that uh, it, it's it's an output that turns on when the VFD is accelerating so this will turn on when the VFD is accelerating from 0 rpm to the set point of you know 60 or 0 rpm 0 hertz to 60 hertz and so this will turn on which will actuate this cylinder which will then pull the uh, the stop out and compress the spring and the unloader which will allow air pressure from the tank to come up and actuate the bypass. A uh, couple of important things. So I designed this cylinder with one square inch of area. So at 30 psi it generates 30 pounds of force. Uh, the spring, when the tank is completely empty, the spring has about 25 pounds of force uh, resisting it. So as the pressure of the tank comes up, the spring pressure actually, the spring gets compressed and it takes less and less pressure to overcome the spring and that's how it works uh, is that air pressure from the tank comes in and compresses the spring when the spring hits its point where uh, it moves enough to let air off of a seat, uh, a ball allows air to come in and then that ball, that the air coming in pushes the ball forward which then seats against the side where the spring was and actuates the valve. So what this is doing is this is just helping it. It's basically lowering the cut-in pressure for the recirculator. And uh, so this whole deal goes together like that and it just screws on to the end of this thing and floats there uh, and then air pressure will come from the regulator to this at 40 psi, 30 to 40 psi, which will give me 30 to 40 pounds of force. And then this will actuate the cylinder when the VFD is accelerating. And that will give me a startup bypass as long as there's pressure in the tank. Now, the VFD is, is capable of starting the tank or the compressor when there is about 30 pounds of air in it. So I'm good. All I need to do is make this work. So uh, let me uh, assemble this and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all put together. Well here's what the little pancake cylinder looks like fully assembled. You can see it's uh, it's nearly flush on the back. It's not meant to be flush because uh, there's a protrusion uh, on the unloader uh, pressure valve that sticks out 50,000 so uh, when this thing is in its normal seated position it's about right there and the stroke on it is about two hundred thousandths so it'll definitely have enough movement to pull the that uh, unloader valve shaft out 
and then uh, it's just a little 1 8 NPT quick connect which will keep this thing from spinning when it's threaded on there so this will make more sense once it's actually installed on the compressor but let me uh, just bring you in for a closer look It sure is shiny, and because it's 303 stainless, I don't have to worry about it rusting or uh, coming apart. The only maintenance it'll ever need is new O-rings occasionally. It is definitely a cute little piece. Now let's install the unloader cylinder. This is so pretty, isn't it? It's pretty. I think that'll do it.